Welcome, multiverse. Uh, the Saturday night multiverse stream inverse. We are on live to Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch because the future is now. AI art is a big conversation of topic. Big conversation of topic. Um, <laughs> a topic of conversation. Uh, yeah, my mic's on. That's good. So we are going to get sculpting some back to this demon mask I've been sculpting the last few days. Shout out to Mama Neutron for this incredible edible crocheted uh, work of art. My mom made this for me, and I'm like, I really appreciate it. Like, it's so it's just like incredible, right? Mama Neutron, shout out. Um, okay. Here to multi stream, and there we go. All right, let's uh put on some tunes. This is all music that I've made. Uh, it's from the Black Tea and Bourbon soundtrack. I think it's one of my favorite tracks I've ever made, ever. Like Dangle Dingles. If you're watching on YouTube, you can check out the music video, Wang Dangle Dingles. I 
you want to know what that song's about, watch the music video.
Hey, what's up, Spookerific? Yep, up late. <laughs> I'm just trying to late night, late night stream, see what's going on. I'll probably stream for like, you know, maybe like a 30 more minutes or something. But thanks for popping in, Spookerific. And shout out to Mama Neutron for my awesome elder octopus hat. <laughs> Thank you so much. I think I'm gonna do like a run of masks, like hard resin masks of this called when I'm done. Thanks, Spookerific. This is uh, all like music I've just made over the years. So, <laughs> yeah, you can uh, just search Sing Neutron on Spotify and you can listen to all the crazy weird albums I put out. 
Um, I'm trying to sculpt it in a way where I can mold it in one piece and it all like comes out as one piece. So. So yeah, it's like. So I uh, I think I made that song on stream actually. Um, so some of it is uh, it's weird because it's interesting to ask because like now I look back on it and I'm like, man, I think like I feel like some of it is channeling because I think I've talked about it before in my podcast too. It's like when I um, uh, when I like channel or. I was like losing my train of thought. Um, no, so some of the music I do is I'll just set the microphone on and then I'll play something and then I'll just play to it and then I'll just speak over it. So it's like, it's like live with myself every time and I'm just listening back to myself and recording something new to add to it. And then I just, I just listen back at the end and I just end up with these like really interesting um just composers, I guess. Yeah, it's like some of them. Are, I do songs, more structured songs, like. Um, but then also I do sort of this weird beat poetry, like I call it the pandemonic. Uh, uh, the, that's the genre. It's just like this weird. So I just use like breath as a percussive instrument and like talk. It's like beat poetry. It's like weird, weird irreverentism stuff, you know. But yeah, thanks for yeah, like, thanks for hanging out with me and listening to my music. <laughs>
must rally around the fire. We must kindle the fire so that we can each light the fire in our own hearts, because there is a wick in your chest, but it is soaked with dark water. You must dry off the wick and stay next to this flame while the wick dries and let it prime your heart to be ready to ignite with the passion of love and balance. I like this for all, so we can all find a solution together, so we can all come together. Because together we are unstoppable, we are infinity, we are different versions of infinity. And all we need is a spark. and this paradigm of shame and hate and fear. None of that has to exist. You are living within Freddy Krueger's fucking nightmare. And it is time that we become dream warriors. Put on your fucking mohawk. Grab your fucking mace. Put on your sweet ass cowboy boots. Dress like a woman. Dress like a man. Whatever you fucking want to do. Whatever is inside of you that wants to come out. You fucking show the world. And we come together. And we fucking fight for the world without fighting. We, we love the new world that we want. We, this is irreverentism. <sighs> Together, Fuck hot yeah. and cold, light and shadow, dropping the bullshit, Unity no dogma, no yeah. hierarchy. Radically different. We are all Together. one and one cannot be greater than yeah. or we less are. than oneself. I, I am. fucking love Fuck you. Because you are me, and I am you, the mother so if I fucking anomaly, love you, and you are me, then I fucking know that you love dogma, me, no and I will start fucking acting like it. <laughs> I know how that goes. <laughs> I like it. 
This episode is best enjoyed with headphones for all of you ASMR all right, uh, junkies. Now we're doing a quick, quick test, and then when I talk Welcome onto to it over here, Neutron. like I, I probably just, just shouldn't get that close. And we're just like going, like I don't even know. Oh yeah, I think this is the episode. This was the Halloween episode of my podcast when I. Yeah, it's I like was like oh maybe this is channeling.
like people having the, the thought that like this body comes out in like this form. Oh, I bet it needs Mr. Dr. Pants to like snip the fucking tip of the dick off. Like, here's the thing, dude. I didn't even know, I didn't even know that I was circumcised until I was like old enough. So I'm not talking shit here. Dude, but well, actually, I was an adult. Just think about like, this for a second. Holy shit! Did you dude, consider yourself like, I lived a feminist? Most of and my you've life, said to a guy like, "Man, I'm really happy that you're circumcised." It was because then it was that's kind like, of fucked up, like super fucked a, up. A, like, can you imagine a, if a guy was like, "Hey, so babe, I'm glad that your I clit was cut off because it feels so much better for me, and it doesn't gross me out because a part of you has been chopped off, like divination." Anyways, like, I really I'm think about like, that. Like, how fucking weird is that? my train of thought? Because that's important. That's the thing. That's the whole Rick and Morty episode. Is like train of thought. It's 5:55 p.m. right now, and October 31st, 2020, uh, Halloween. Lots of numbers. Everything is numbers, man. Like the math, it works. So I'm trying to come back to my original train of thought, which was. 9:31 p.m. I was talking about circumcision. Like, holy shit. Uh, why are we still doing this? Like, seriously, why are we still doing this? Like, humans know we are, like, killing the planet. And, like, we are making giant garbage patches of plastic and stuff. But, like, people are still buying plastic. Like, even, like, even you most hardcore of activists, motherfucking activists, I salute you and your, your push for, like, a better world in the ways that you know how. But, God damn it. If you're buying plastic and you're out there on the streets, like, like fight, like demanding change, then you are creating the problem that you are demanding to be solved. So here it is, man. Like we just have to pay attention to what we're paying attention pay to. Attention. See, that's where attention. like music comes in. Like I, I just, pay I'm gonna put attention. this. Is gonna, I'm gonna attention. make some music and some jazz or whatever pay the fuck, attention. whatever I hear is gonna be the backdrop attention. to this. And it'll be, that'll be Sputron, man. It's like jazz, free flow attention. jazz, like a divination. So this is what I was doing. I'm still looking here. Like I see the world egg at the top right. And there's like Aida Wado, which is this beautiful rainbow serpent. All of the world's religions contain such fantastic, amazing imagery. Beautiful art, beautiful metaphor, beautiful allegory, beautiful concepts and visualizations. And we're not, you know, fuck, I'm losing my train of thought. Um, when I think too much about what I'm saying, then I slip up. It's kind of like when you play the piano, when you're like, you just let your fingers go. Your fingers know where to go because you can hear the song. You're listening to this, you're broadcasting what you're hearing straight to matter. Like, I am listening with my inner world to what I hear, and I'm not really even thinking about what I'm saying. I'm literally like, this is automatic talking. They talk about automatic writing, and now we're doing automatic talking. Man, like, my arm gets so tired because, like, I don't, my thoughts are moving even faster than what I can encode them into audio waveform and push them into your ears right now. Like, see, this might be channeling. Like, I watched Bashir, and he talks about, like, he doesn't, he goes somewhere, he goes somewhere. Where you're going, I think, is the infinite all, and you're feeling the weight of your entire infinite being, so you're just letting it pour out of your mouth, and you're not even really thinking about what's going on, and I really want to know how to free flow rhyme, and sing in time, and dance, and zip kicker, zap a gap, zap a do wob this is what I'm looking at, master of the head, there is a, in the, the middle column, at the top is the master of the head, and this card looks... Like, it has someone sitting here. They're holding a head in a basket, and that head from its third eye is billows this smoke. And this smoke, to me, looks like a vulture. I'm seeing, like, a horrible, skeezy vulture, like a skexies. But then I realize it's on the back of this woman that's kissing the forehead, the third eye of this body. So this is how you divine. Like this is, they've taught, taught me imagery and coding and ways to look at the world and ways to perceive light. I'm looking at something different. I'm looking at this card and I'm seeing something different. Randy looks
looks at burnt candles and sees things in the things. What do you see in something? Well, you can see any pattern in anything, but if you just open up your mind to actually, that is your brain trying to transmit a light code of a message to you that is holographic fractal in your face. I drank some coffee too. This is fun. This is really fun. Like, this is future. Like, I fucking named my podcast. Like, future me right now is coming up with this is what I should name my podcast. I should name it Sputron because I know on my path to my highest good and my greatest self, therein lies this me, which is transcoding this message directly back to the past so that I am thinking in this frequency towards this future where I am happy and enlightened and and just I am, am happy with where I am. This is a positive wavelength future, and I am transmitting my thoughts backwards to the past. And in this present moment, I am hearing a future. So this future sends its, its message back to me, which I then send back to my past. It is like a game of historical telephone. Oh, that is time. It's like a loop that travels backwards and infinitely. And I think that we are not, my mind isn't tethered to this timeline because my mind doesn't even know what time is. I can't tell you how long I've been talking, nine minutes and 21 seconds. I mean, but I can only tell you that because I looked at the computer and the computer that has been running track of this time, this whole time, tells me that I've been speaking for nine minutes, 21 seconds. I could have been speaking, like if I imagine, I feel like I've been speaking in an eternity. You know, like you ever say anything like, oh man, I jumped in and that was cold as ice. You know, it's like we make all these comparisons and all this abstract imagery, like we paint so much abstract Im imagery. And in fact, consciousness is abstract because we do not know what in fact consciousness is. So we are literally experiencing this thing that we have no idea what it could be. But we're experiencing it in real time and we make assumptions and we make definite statements about finite things when we have a fraction of the knowledge of all things. Wow, I think that if that rhymed, that was just sound really cool. Divination. I'm looking at possession, bottom left. It's inverted. Possession is people don't understand. These are things that I've been thinking about lately. And now spirit is reminding me to encode what I've been thinking. My thoughts of the infinite all is being encoded into this podcast. That it is, is transmitted to your eardrums and sitted in between your eyes and your ears to your third eye. So back to the master of the head. But actually, I see a beautiful woman that is kissing the forehead. But behind it is the shadow of the Skeksis. The shadow, you have to love your shadow. You have to accept your shadow. You have to accept your faults. You have to accept that shadow defines us, literally and figuratively. Without shadow, there is no form. Without shadow, there is just light. Light is heat. Shadow is cold. Hot and cold are the two extremes of temperature. One, you go infinitely further into hot, then you in, then or infinitely into cold, you both hit the event horizon of how cold something could be and how hot something could be. And they both, in fact, become one and the same, the alpha and the omega. In, inversely, you apply the same thing to the future. You go so far into the future, or you go so far into the past, you will meet at the singularity of infinity, which is encompassing all of this tiny little bubble of darkness in a light universe. The out of this universe is infinite light, and we are in a little bubble of darkness in which we can hide and take form. Oh man, that is some powerful stuff, dude. And these thoughts, this realm of light, is thought, illumination, and that is where our thoughts come from. You are what you remember, and if you can remember being all things, then you are all things. And this is possession. This is what you are being possessed by. You're being possessed by personality. You are the conscious point of awareness that decides what all of you let into this bubble of darkness. We are in the dark universe. This is the universe of shadow. We are literally floating in shadow. And it gives us solace from the light. Because if we did not have shadow, there would be only light. And without, with only light, there can, there can be no form. 
It is just all. So thought, consciousness, is light. What are you? You are light in matter, enlightenment, the illumined one. If you want to fill your vessel, your matter here, anyone can be anything. I am what I am because I like those things. I became, I attracted personalities, I attracted people, I attracted events, I attracted story to my being. And I've told many types of stories, I've been many characters, I've made mistakes, I've made triumphs, and I've also done very bad things, as we all have. If you think that you are infinite, like what, if you were all things, then you would have to be good and bad. And then good and bad seem to cease to exist because there is just all. There is just being. Can you imagine not being? No, you can't because there is no way to not be. What you are is what you accumulate. So you always are, but what you are is up to you. What are you this lifetime? What are you right now? I see the Petwo, the Hungan, the drummer, drumming with fire. And this is what I, this is why I'm so happy that I'm, right now I can't hear the drums that I am, but if I listen to the future, then I can hear the drum beat that I would be doing. Maybe, I don't know, or maybe I'm just talking like Shatter, who knows? See, it's with rhythm and rhythm flows. And when you have the rhythm and you have the time, then you can let out the rhyme. And you can make time. See, don't think too much. When you think too much, you don't you miss the flow. You have to get in the flow to know where to go. So the route of the is the now, the present, leading to the future. The present is the intersection of the past and the future. We are the edge that cuts through. At the top left, I see Ogu. I know Ogu. This studying world religions and stories and things all combined, that's again, that is, we're missing the bigger picture because we're not looking at the bigger picture. Cultural appropriation, yes, there is ways in which that could exist, but really, what is there but cultural appreciation? We have to appreciate each other all together, all at once. It has to be all or nothing. All for one and one for all, or all for one and one for all, or one for all and all for one. We have to become one again. We have to become a global society that in which that we all beat. think together one because we are all on this planet. We're on the world one egg in the snake's mouth. The one snake is <laughs> Right now, welcome back. <laughs> be born. A new world, a new place, a new rhyme, a new face of humanity no one likes being what we are so we can change that and we can go far when i was 16 i wrote in rhyme and i don't know why now i think i know because i remember how i died I remember what it's like to be dead. I can't describe to you what I remember, but when you elevate your consciousness, you begin to lose grips on this reality in ways that you were taught were insane. So it leads you to feeling further insane and leading you further from the truth because you question actual truth. We are locked in illusion and disillusion, and there, if you can only 
think above and there under and out. And then what is flowing? What is out? What is Congo? What is? What isn't? I understand jazz now. I didn't before and now I want to learn jazz and I want to listen to jazz. But really, do I need to learn or is this jazz? Because this is what I hear in the rhythm of the moment and I'm just speaking in the rhythm and the tone and the rhyme and the moment. And then I think and I overthink and I overstep and then I fall out of divine time. You just have to find the flow. Tantra tells you to flow with the breath. Don't get in front of the breath. Don't get behind the breath. Just be with the breath. And that in there is actually true presence because you flow with the flow state. This is the shamanic state. This is the flow state. This is the zone that athletes talk about. If you've ever played an instrument, if you've ever played, if you've ever done anything well, you know what the flow state is because you knew exactly how to think yourself into the right place, into the right time, into the right rhyme, and into the right time. Rhythm permeates all things. The hermetic principles, they say it all. Again, we're back to hermeticism, hermetics. I used to hate jazz. And this is what we're doing right now. We're all in a single solitary confinement because we are doing our personal rituals to grow. We have no choice but to focus on ourselves. What is jazz? Kids can't go out and walk the streets and get candy. We're all in a timeout right now to think about what we've done. The earth allows us to be here. And it will continue to allow us to be here as long as we learn, because I'm going to tell you something. If we don't learn our lesson, the earth is going to take us out, because the earth, and to be honest, I would agree with the earth, and that sucks. I don't want to be in that position where I have to say, yeah, Mother Earth, yep, I'm sorry, but the human race just doesn't fucking get it, and they can't get their shit together. And I don't say this to talk down to you. I talk directly to you as human beings, because I'm talking to myself right now. I'm trying to get my shit together. And I'm, like, that, that is together. therein lies the key that all things tell you. The golden rule, treat others as you would like to be treated. And also, what do they say? What does every spiritual tradition say? Buddhism, Christianity, um, it's literally anything that you can think of means modalities of spirituality always tells you the single most important truth is to find that truth in yourself. So it gets twisted by a word. Michael Jackson, the mind of man. Ugh. I mean, what a complicated mess there. But he did he not sing? I, we've been singing Look ourselves. Pan in the mirror we have and been ask singing them to change their the ways. answers since the beginning of time because rhythm remembers sand, songs transcend space and time. When you hear a song, you've heard it once, you've heard it a thousand times, you can remember the beat. You never forget the beat. Do you know how they treat Alzheimer's patients? They give them music because they remember music. They never forget music. You never forget the rhythm and the song and the things that you hear in your head are magic and they want you to sing along. So why do we continue to shit on imagination? Why do we continue to tell people to not believe in things, to keep their heads down, to wear black and browns, to mute themselves and their spirits and the light they shine into this density because we are becoming one homogenized mess that is rotten is literally seeping out and oozing and we've become a cancer because our toxic ideologies have spread too fast and the only way that we can do that is if the cells themselves realize to look inside and see that something is very wrong in their own being and in their own mind and when you can look inside yourself and you know that that is where you will find the answer to everything every drop that you've tried to fill every Every one night, every, every hole you've tried to fill inside of you, you are a black hole. And until you understand what you are, you will continue to take and suck and, and squeeze anything and everything inside of you. Until you realize that everything is inside of you. You are everything. You are wrapped in infinite all, but you are in the shadow to take form, to be, to explore, to experiment, to create, to be your own infinity. You are the keeper of your own infinity, 
and if I can't, if I say, if I stress one thing here tonight, if you've learned, if you've stuck with me, you are infinity. I am an infinite whole talking to you and your infinite whole, and I've forgotten that I can move around the mic, and now I understand things like You know, a lot of people know me for like sculptures and making monsters, but I've, I feel like some of those like genuine, like true, just like expression that I've done is like through the music I've made. And it's like, it's just all real shit just like pouring out, you know? And then I just like listen to it while I play the drums and then record me playing along with it, you know? I don't know. I just, I think it's really cool. So I appreciate uh, hanging out, you know? Like with it, people hanging out and listening to it with it. I like that because I feel like yeah that's like I just feel like I experience things now you know like the whole like once you really just like realize what it is everything is just an experience you know and that's all I that's all I know you know past that you know you can work to try to figure it all out and I think people should people should like ask the big questions and do the great work you know but uh ultimately like part of the great work is like knowing that you don't know and just being open to, you know, go on the experience. But it's one, I think I'm going to call it a night. If you do, there's still like 30 minutes to this track. It was an episode of my podcast that was like, actually when I first started doing all of this, just like hitting a recorder. Um, and uh, you can check it out. Just search Sig Neutron on Spotify or listen to my podcast, Sputron. Uh, this, this song in particular is on the album. Uh, I survived 2020 and uh, all I got was this weird album. <laughs> so... Yeah, this is the uh, Halloween spoken word. But uh, yeah, thanks everybody for hanging out with me. Uh, today's the last day. If you want to get a cigarette, I got them all painted. Oh, I'm working on them, pumping them out. If you want to get your very own cigarette, uh, today's the last day to order one. And if you did order one, it would really help me out. Um, and uh, help support independent art and artists in creation. And uh, yeah, just click the link in the description of this stream, wherever you're watching it. But thank you so much, Spookerific, for hanging out. And I really appreciate your input on all this weird... Because I don't know. I mean, I don't even know if people like this stuff or not. Because it's just so 
weird, you know? <laughs> and it's like, whenever I, like, someone just, like, takes the time to connect with it, it really means a lot. So, thank you. All right, y'all. Good night to the multiverse, and uh, maybe I'll see you Sunday. Well, Sunday fun day for...